despite the link between vaccines and autism being one of the most repeatedly debunked claims in the history of medicine, vaccine researchers are still having to respond to this. Now, this one has been widely and repeatedly debunked over the past couple decades, but we still continue to hear it offered as a cause of autism. So, it's worth addressing here. It starts in 1998, when a doctor named Andrew Wakefield published a paper in the journal The Lancet. This was a really tiny study, like 12 children, eight of whom developed these bowel problems after getting the MMR vaccine, and then also developed behavioral symptoms of autism. Wakefield claimed the MMR vaccine shot was causing the autism, and began to sort of campaign to parents around the world that they should avoid this particular vaccine. That study was quickly debunked, and it was even eventually retracted. And Wakefield later lost his medical license for manipulating the data in that study. But it set off this massive global controversy on social media and online that we still see today. Despite the link between vaccines and autism being one of the most repeatedly debunked claims in the history of medicine, vaccine researchers are still having to respond to this. It just won't die.